Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tatami Galaxy episode number 4. Alright, the previous episode, uh, we saw the main character, uh, him getting into the cycling club. And like, you know, he made another di like different choice, but it was still wrong. Um, I'm not sure I've said this before, but in my opinion, if he returns that squishy toy or uh, what was the Japanese name? Mochizuki man or something like that. I cannot remember. Uh, if he returns that to Akashi-san, I'm sure something will happen. But he has still not taken that choice. Uh, and I don't know like what will he will do in this episode. Uh, and as, as far as the pattern I'm seeing, he's choosing different clubs whenever like he gets reminded in time. So I'm guessing he'll choose another club. So let's see what, you know, what this episode brings. Uh, <laughs> it's really been an amazing, uh, you know, like these three episodes were so amazing, so unique in like in its own way. And the story is so interesting. Like I'm really happy that, uh, you know, we have a show like this and I'm reacting to it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number four of Tata and Galaxy. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> what? Oh, there's another person here. Oh, this is a god. <laughs> Hanuki. Oh, this is a lady's voice. Yeah, please. Like, we cannot see anyone's face. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's another person here. The lady. Damn, what the? Whoa. What the hell? Um, what was that that he did? Hanuki, dental hygienist. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. <laughs> Damn, what are they putting in there? Yeah. Damn. For <laughs> 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. Neglecting, okay. Again? <laughs> Who is the one responsible? Will this... <laughs> okay, let's see what he did this time. Which club did he join? So, that lady is the dental hygienist? Okay. This uh, opening song, it gets like, you know, like catchier the more you listen to it. Like it's some kind of like it's, it's that type of a song. Like, you know, like it, the more times you hear it, the more times you like start liking it even more and more. Okay, we can see that lady here. Um, 
I forgot her name. Okay, let's see. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see what he chose this time. What is this? Oh, he had a... Okay. What? I must not... <laughs> oh no. Disciples wanted, so that's how we became the disciples. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Would they believe it? <laughs> oh, damn. What the? Second disciple. Okay. Only one time. Damn. <laughs> Still not a parent. Oh, he's a student? Oh. Well, he's a god, so. <laughs> Damn, look at him. Okay, weakness. What weakness? Library fines. Oh, <laughs> library police. Okay. Oh, the fiend. Oh, he. Jogasak is also here. What color? Masak is stupid. <laughs> wow. Oh, damn. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, this guy is good with his legs. Journey is over. So. <laughs> Tears of the Dragon. What? Oh. Okay. Oh. Why? Damn. Time travel. <laughs> okay. 
final test okay so they're gonna graduate from this or something oh damn okay well <laughs> wow what is happening here <laughs> no no don't do that yeah 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 exactly Wow, he's remembering stuff from the previous, you know, Ballad Worlds. Oh, here we go. Yes. <coughs> okay, please listen to her this time. <laughs> you are unsatisfied. <laughs> Okay. This line dangling in front of your eyes. He, she's increasing it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's getting everything at the same time. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I ex expel myself. Oh, Akash-san is here. <coughs> Damn, the... Hmm. Again, she is with him. Like, she followed him. Okay. Did he make some promise this time as well with her? I get... <laughs> wow wow female companionship it changes a lot of things <laughs> okay damn okay <laughs> okay wow that's going well, you know, better than What is this place? Some kind of temple? Oh Damn Yeah, how much for it? Oh no! Okay, well, that's a bit. But it's called... Did they really buy it? Exactly. <laughs> True, you know. Oh, what? <laughs> what the? Public part? Five favorite triangle and come back sometime. <laughs> wow. Wow, what an amazing song. <laughs> Learn how not to become a psych circle. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Oke. Okay. <coughs> oh, the place where he first met him. Oh, this lady is here. Oh, is that so? <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, is that so? Yogasaki and Higuchi? Oh. Proxy war, okay. <laughs> Damn. Masks. Whoa! <laughs> How long are they doing this? Um. Oh, there it is. Oh. What? Damn! Okay. Oh, he remembered. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he found it again. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, did he take the wait, wait. What's he planning? Okay, he got it. Final test? Okay. Ceremony. <laughs> yeah, he wants to get out of here. Oh, uh, God. Okay, Akashi and... Okay, what's going to happen now? <clears throat> oh, there... Oh, also is with him? What the hell? Oh no, he's a... He was, a was he a spy or something? Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. <clears throat> oh, wow. Well, he... But he was a spy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Your name will match in history. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Meaningless double agent. Oh God, what will they do even?
Oh, damn. What the hell? Whoa. Damn. Ha! <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, did it bring out a gun or something? What was that? <laughs> That's not a scissor. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, who was the lady that they're fighting, like, you know, for? Was, was it Hanuki? Like, the lady they were fighting for? Damn. Disappear with the wind. Damn. Now what? Like. <laughs> Wait, was the lady really Hanuki that they were fighting? <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> oh no! Uh... What? Oh god! <laughs> oh, what the? What? Yeah, exactly. Will he reverse time now? Oh yeah, there you go. It's getting reversed again. Oh, damn. Wow, <laughs> I always love this portion where it kind of, you know, reverse back and then we get the ending song just after that. <laughs> like, you know, nothing after that, like the reversal and then the ending song. <laughs> okay. This was, um, this barely had anything to do with Akashi or him. This was basically like more focused on, uh, I think his name was Higushi and... Uh, Jogasaki, not Jogasaki, but them, you know, as a group. And <clears throat> like, there was barely any mention of the promise, or uh, like, you know, like in the all the previous episode, we had this thing where, like, in some way, the main character made some kind of promise, or like, you know, they had some kind of arrangement between um, Akashi and him. Like some kind of thing like he said that he would do for her or something like that. But in this episode, there was nothing like that. You know, like it was, it was just that he found that squishy toy. That was just it. And it was dangling in front of him as the, all the other episodes. So I'm not sure like, you know what? Like this is a bit different from the other episodes in that way. And we got a lot Okay, that's the end. Yeah. Okay, we got a few uh, information about um. Uh, what's his name? Higuchi. Higuchi, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that was a god, wasn't it? From the first episode, like, as far as we can see from this episode, we can see that he, like, as this like explained, that he was a student just like Jogasaki Senpai, and they were kind of like on the same, you know, um same age group I'm guessing and they were kind of like rivals and all and they had this kind of a falling out because of a lady and um, what was the name of that 
lady uh the dentist lady just a sec uh okay i'm just checking her name like this like a Hanuki, like Hanuki and Higuchi, like their name are so similar, I kind of like mixed it up. Okay, the lady's name is Hanuki, and uh, the uh, the guy, his name was Higuchi. Uh, okay, so yeah, like now, I'm not actually sure, but uh, like as they explained that they had a fight because of, uh, like you know, a lady uh, like Jogasaki and Higuchi. I don't know, like they did not say it anything about it but by the way it kind of went i feel like it was hanuki the lady they were fighting for and i don't know like the ending scene also kind of like kind of insinuates that because you know like as like uh, higuchi lost the battle and he says that i'll go away i'll like you know uh, uh, travel the world and everything and he goes away and that shows how like you know how he accepted his loss and he like <clears throat> you know like excused him from the battle after that and he went away that's him admitting defeat as far as i could see and then we see like jogasaki and like you know hanuki kind of going together with each other and you know like um hanuki says that okay let's go for a drink and jogasaki says that like finally like you know so I'm guessing like, you know, like Hanuki was the lady because uh, they were fighting for because like, you know, in the end, we see how Yuji goes away and Jogasaki goes with Hanuki. So that kind of implies as to like he won or something. I don't know. Like nothing is that clearly, but that's how, what I felt by the end of the episode. I might be wrong. You know, it, it might, just might be like, you know, they were like good friends or something. So yeah, but anyways, like, <clears throat> so yeah, as I was saying, <coughs> mm, so barely anything happened with uh, the main character and Akashi, but most of the episode was kind of uh, focused on the, like, on something else than those two characters, like the main character and Akashi like this was basically an episode kind of explaining the situation of Higuchi and you know and Jogasaki now one thing I'm a bit not confused but I'm quite curious about is the, in the first episode we kind of see Higuchi as like self proclaiming himself as a god now <clears throat> that might be a lie you know like now that I'm thinking about it like up until the third episode I also thought that yeah he must be some kind of a god but that might be a lie. He might have just like said something like that, you know, just for the sake of it <clears throat> at that moment. And it, the whole situation will change then. If he really is not a god, then something else is happening here. Now, I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll get more answers uh, and more hints as the episodes go on. So, yeah, like up until now, I really thought that he was a god. But now, like, you know, as they kind of introduced him and everything, now I think like there must be something else, like you know, who knows, but <clears throat> but one thing uh, like I don't know, like they kind of explained here in the beginning was that how uh, Higuchi was uh, like he was able to perceive things that normal people did not perceive and then his body was light and incredible, that being the case he did not per participate in anything yeah only focusing intensely on living life day to day like this these this portion this portion kind of like i don't know like shows like kind of implies that maybe he really is a god you know because like as i said like he could see stuff that others cannot he understood stuff that others were won't be able to he was like you know he was strong and all even though he did not do any kind of uh, physical activities like this kind of shows that he's some kind of an extraordinary person so who knows you know and anyways um and then like uh, we get to see his like situation we get to uh, see how um <clears throat> the whole you know the feud between the proxy war started like how <laughs> like you know he <laughs> like the like you know he used to mess with jogasaki and jogasaki used to do the same and <clears throat> 
then like you know like he wanted to get a what was that a scrub or something like a tortoise like a legendary tortoise scrub something like that and like we see uh the main character kind of going and trying to find it and here again like he kind of um implies the whole thing with like you know him uh traveling not traveling but reverting time and going to a parallel world when he says that like oh i i really want to uh, like you know uh, i really want to light fireworks and like when all those couples were like you know sitting down he was saying that i really want to uh, light fireworks and you know <laughs> and kind of mess with them and then he says that oh maybe not like you know because i have a feeling that i might have done something like this and it did not end well well <laughs> like you know like the way they kind of like imply that yeah like he kind of no not knows but he can kind of understand that something like this happened before the whole deja vu thing and then like after that we also see uh you know like was it after that or before that um when he meets the fortune teller again anyways like yeah he meets the fortune teller again and then like you know this time <laughs> like he says that like oh like i feel like i've been here before like and then like he again like like the lady kind of increases the wait a minute <laughs> she the lady like the fortune teller lady she says that it's 4000 yen this episode didn't she like i cannot remember in the first episode did he did she say like 1000 yen i can't remember so if that if the first episode was 1000 yen then is she like increasing the, the cost per episode by 1000 yen so that will mean like if, if he like you know if he meets the lady in the like 10th episode like she'll say it's 10000 yen oh my god he's gonna get bankrupt if he did not like if he does not like you know find the cause of this whole thing <laughs> I'm not sure. I I really am not uh, like I cannot remember if she like charged one thousand yen in the first episode. If she like charged one thousand yen in the first episode, then that would mean she, like she is increasing it by one thousand yen per episode. That's funny. I have to say, <laughs> and she's like you know abridging everything. Like I'm sure like she like hates to explain the same thing over and over again. So today in this episode, she just like you know kind of said that like oh there's a like you know there's a like opportunity dangling in front of you and just go and grab it and yeah that's it like give me 4000 yen <laughs> okay <clears throat> and then like akashi-san also like helps him uh find that you know that scrub like the tortoise scrub or whatever it was called and we see like how female companionship helps you know all the other shopkeepers who were not helping him after like you know akashi-san is with him uh, like they start helping him <laughs> oh lord like uh, god damn it okay then and then like you know they find the tortoise scrub and they can you know uh like it, it's too costly it's too costly for him to buy that now one thing i'm quite curious about is um like you know uh, okay now okay I'll, I'll talk about that later first of all after that um like we get to see uh, like you know we get to learn from uh ha hanuki was that yeah hanuki hanuki that jokasaka and higuchi were like friends a long time ago uh, <clears throat> and then like just a sec yeah and then the uh ramen guy uh, who makes ramen he says that like he explains what the actual problem like what happened the whole uh, thing with like proxy war the whole rivals in love thing okay and then he says it said that it was a drinking contest with unrefined sake but the details are already lost to the depths of history battle dragged for a long time refused to let it drop without coming to a conclusion okay so it started with a drinking contest and then they forgot the reason for the battle's beginning and without regard to society passed it to the success <laughs> excuse me <laughs> and then like hanuki kind of explains the proxy 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 war <laughs> okay and then like they say like you're going to take over it and 
the main character's face goes pale now and then like he goes back to his house uh, uh not house his room and finds that money now i am curious who who kept that money you know who who gave that money to him like there are two i don't know like there there can be two explanations here number one is like uh what was his name uh -huh. higuchi yeah higuchi himself kept that in his room either that or maybe it was also i think uh the chances of also keeping it is more but if also kept it where did you get that money from like who knows like uh, you know why i'm thinking that ozu kept it i think like ozu kept it because like he wants to he wanted to mess with him you know that's just it like that's ozu like he just wanted to mess with him so he kept that money so that you know he finally goes and gets that scrub and he gets roped into the whole situation again <laughs> so i don't know like it's a mystery here like who kept that money and it was as he said like it's just enough to buy that brush so like someone must have kept it who knew that they were going to go for the brush so that kind of like you know uh, narrows down the targets like um what was his name um okay wait a minute yeah the members from that club will only know and ozu was here as a spy so you know uh and then like, then the main character like thinks that what should he do to like spend it like should he spend it for himself or something and then he remembers the whole like uh squishy toy like uh, like akashi losing that squishy toy and that kind of triggers him to go and buy that brush and he like decides to kind of like you know uh, pass that test and go and like he he must have thought it like this like i'll pass the test and tell my master that okay like i've passed the test and now i want to leave you know and then he thought that he will get to like spend time with akashi and everything and that he like you know dreamed about but turns out like it went in a wrong direction he he like he gave that to the master like higuchi he took it and he says that oh you got this so you passed the test now come with me you'll be my like you know new proxy and then they go to the like <laughs> you know that uh, battle uh, the fight and the meet uh, on the bridge <coughs> and then we see ozu in the other team now like i don't know like what ozu's actual like you know plan is like like i really feel like you know he really wants to mess with him that's just it like no other like you know like hidden like you know plans or agendas ozu just wants to mess with the main character and <laughs> that's why like you know we always see him <laughs> that's like his main goal uh. it i feel like it's something like that <clears throat> and then like um and then like we see the battle like i don't know what i was expecting the but like you know they did a whole like you know stone paper scissor battle uh like <laughs> and then like they show us this weird thing like they like you know kind of prepare and then they like there's this kind of whole lot like you know a lot of like transparent beings on, on top of them which i'm guessing like are the proxies that have fought the battle and like this is something like my hero academia where like deku gets the power from all the <laughs> you know people who have who are, were his predecessors <laughs> i don't know why i thought about it but it feel like something like that you know all the power combined and they're doing it uh, doing the battle and i'm not even sure what like higuchi did but what is this like, you know was that a gun i'm not sure like why did he do this did he really want to lose like uh, like you know by him himself like he didn't even put an actual like you know scissor paper or rock he just did something like this so i don't know like this i think like he wanted to lose himself is that it 
otherwise why would he like bring out something like this like this doesn't even mean anything and, and Jogasaki wins like by default I don't know like but anyways like and then he like decides to leave on a journey and uh, okay another thing that I noticed here you know how I was saying that maybe the girl who they were fighting you know for was Hanuki there's another um, like, small little clue here which kind of insinuates that like you know like when they when he lost he asks uh, Hanuki to go with him and he says that like you know you can speak English you can come with me you can help me and Hanuki rejects him like she says that don't be crazy like this is foolishness and like you know and then in the next scene like, he went away and then we see her accompanying jo Jogasaki so it might be really like you know like the maybe the lady they were fighting for was really Hanuki and like you know this scene kind of shows us how like he lost like Higuchi lost and Hanuki rejected him and then went with Jogasaki like that means like she chose Jogasaki instead you know I don't know I might be really reading too much into it but that might just be it I, I, I feel like it but anyways <clears throat> and then like we see like him like you know going away and like the, the scrub like you know tortoise scrub he passed it to the main character which kind of is like you know shows us that how he passed on his responsibilities to him and the main character doesn't want that <laughs> you know and then they show like her him like blowing a pipe and the smoke kind of like you know is like floating away which kind of also like shows us how he himself like uh, floated away like a smoke you know and you know disappeared from their lives i don't know like <laughs> I, I might be thinking too much into things but you know like like these symbolisms i think these were some kind of symbolisms but anyways and then like we see like uh, the main character trying to run away from the whole situation <laughs> He doesn't want to fight with Ozu, he wants his life back and all the like predecessors that were like they fell fall down and he runs to his you know house uh, like his to his room and then there's like a weird uh, like package where it says like I look forward to a time together like Ozu must have kept it I don't know what that actually was he picks it up and the tatami floor kind of you know like gets destroyed and like the note says that I apologize if you were supposed to bat first, let's continue to play nice and dirty. Okay, so I'm guessing like he went in here and sabotaged the whole room or something like, you know, how the tatami flows were kind of like collapsing and all. And yeah, like, as you said, the first shot of the proxy proxy war has been fired, but the main character doesn't want that. And then he says that I wish I could go back, you know, and make another choice. And yeah, his wish is granted. The time reverses again. He goes back. And I, I, I really am looking forward to what he chooses the next time. You know, which club he wants to go next time. And today's episode was not even some kind of club. It was just he went and became a disciple of like, Higuchi, Higuchi. So yeah, and again, like, you know, again, like Akashi followed him. Like, this is a recurring occurrence. I said this in the previous episode, but like, yeah, they really are connected with a string of fate. Uh, Ozu is connected with him with a black string of fate, as he says. He cannot, like, wherever he'll go, Ozu will also follow. And I'm guessing, like, Akashi is uh, uh, connected with him with the red string of fate, as, like, she also follows him wherever he, they go. So, like, you know, like, it's like he is the main person who makes the choice and the other two, uh, two other person follows him wherever he goes. So let's see like if this keeps going on or if there is some kind of exception in any other like you know uh, parallel world I'm looking forward to it so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was Tatami Galaxy episode number four another amazing episode I'm looking forward to the next episode so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share I'll check them out so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tatami Galaxy. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.